Ula ula, yo jadi hari ini aku ada spesial uh, kelas spesial bareng teman yang dari dari Mexico and ya yeah, I will surprise my student karena dia juga lagi belajar bahasa Spanyol jadi that will be nice to meet him with uh, Spanish speakers so let's stay tuned yeah right now I'm waiting for my students and I think he will join in a minute so yeah I can't wait <laughs> here he is <laughs> Hello. Hello, Miss. Hi, Justin. Good morning. Good morning, Miss. How are you? I'm fine. Mm, that's great. Okay, so I'm sorry because um, we have to um, we have to change our schedule for the class because I have something for you. Did your mom already tell you about it? Um, can we say again? Yeah. Did your mom tell anything about today? Maybe no. <laughs> okay, you say maybe. Okay, so here I have a little surprise for you. I have a little surprise for you, Chester. Uh, because we got um. Well, since you are learning Spanish today, there will be a friend of mine that will join us together, and he is from the country where the the with the film of coco was from can you guess his country uh coco yes he is from the country from the movie coco from mexico yes <laughs> so we're going to have a guest star guest speaker is my friend and he is from mexico and i will join him in a minute Okay, you ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's 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 invite him. Okay. So that we can learn Spanish together with him. Okay, so yeah, here he comes. Hello. Hola, hello. Oh. Hola. <laughs> Hola. Yeah, so uh, Luis, este es mi estudiante. He, uh, he is my student. And maybe um, Luis, yeah, he is my student. Uh, Chester, can you please introduce your name? Oh. Okay. Yo? Mi, mi estudiante. Okay. Just say your name. <laughs> so, uh, Luis, este es mi estudiante y está aprendiendo español, pero es básico. Pues, entonces, espero que... Come on, Chester, you should say it. <laughs> okay. Hola, Chester. Sí. Yeah. How old are you, Chester? Pequeño. My old is 
eleven years old. Okay, so he's eleven years old, and okay. yeah, do you learn Spanish? <laughs> um, no. No, really? Yes, I really. <laughs> yeah, so actually uh, Chester learns Spanish pues Chester está español, pero es muy muy básico, entonces espero que uh, puedas enseñar enseñarlo a Tony Basi. Okay, so Chester are you there? En español? Okay, pues, uh, I think I will share my screen so that um, Luis can introduce himself. Okay, so Luis, así es. Um, okay. Puedes ver la pantalla? Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Okay, pues, sí. Es que um, we're going to learn about Mexico in with Luis. So I hope, uh, Chester, if you have any questions about the culture and everything, you can ask Luis. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And don't worry to don't worry to practice your Spanish too. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, hola. <laughs> Hi, yeah. my name is Luis. Um, I am 22 years old. Yeah. I am speaking only Spanish, <laughs> but I try to speak English. I live in Mexico, yeah. in Mexico, Minatitlan, in Veracruz. Y estoy muy ansioso por conocerte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. So. ¿Cómo se dice nice to meet you en español, Luis? How to say uh, nice to meet you in Spanish? Uh, nice to meet you. Creo que es bien, tú también. Es, es mucho gusto. So this is how to say um, nice to meet you in Spanish, Chester. You can say mucho gusto. Ah, okay, oh. sí, sí, sí. Encantado de conocer. Okay, so uh, Luis, nice, nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Okay, so here we're going to learn more about uh, Mexico. So here's the Mexico. Jester, have you ever, have you ever um, read or do you know anything about Spain, about Mexico? Uh, yes. Okay, can you tell me about it a little? Yes, it's like a uh, most famous food in Mexico is taco mm -hmm. and tortilla. Yes, <laughs> well, the, the, the popular food, la, la comida muy, muy popular in Mexico is son tacos, tortilla. And yes, uh, puedes, puedes, uh, puedes cocinar tacos. Can you, can you cook tacos, Luis? Yo, claro, yes. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. of course, yeah, of course, he, he can, he can cook tacos. Yeah. Have you ever eaten tacos, Chester? Um, no. Would you like to try it? Yes, I would like to try it. Ah, encantaría a probar los tacos. Son muy ricos, la verdad. Cambian vidas. Okay, so um, right now Luis is going to explain about um, his city. And yeah, uh, Luis, pues, uh, leerlo, por favor. Okay. Um, um, okay, Mexico. 
the states that border Veracruz are to the north and Tamaulipas and San Luis Potosí, que son los que están arribita, arriba. Uh, the sound is Tabasco and Chiapas. And the left is Hidalgo, is Puebla, and Oaxaca. Uh, and to the right, uh, the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Mucho, mucha agua. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of ocean over here. Can you see where is Veracruz, Chester? Oh, yes, I see. Here is the place where... Uh, mm -hmm. So Luis lives over here near the ocean. What about you, Chester? Where do you... Uh, do you live near the ocean? No, I not live in, in near of the ocean. Ah, you don't live near the ocean. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Chester? Can you can you uh tell Luis where do you live? Wait. Okay. Uh, explicar sobre uh, donde vive. Okay. Come on, you, you can just say it, just <laughs> Yeah, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Um, can we say again? Yeah, can you tell Luis where you live? Oh. Luis, um, you live in city, uh, what? Yeah, what's, uh, ¿qué es el nombre de tu ciudad, Luis? ¿Qué, diga el nombre? ¿Cómo sí. se llama? Se llama, ¿de mi ciudad o de mi estado? <laughs> your, your city, tu, okay. tu ciudad. Mi ciudad se llama Minatitlán. Okay. How do you say it, uh, Chester? Can you repeat it? Oh, yes. Yeah. City is Ciudad. Uh, and what is the name of the city that Louis is from? Oh, Louis is from the city is... Yeah, is where, uh, where's the, where's, what is the name of the city? The name city is Veracruz. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Hmm. Veracruz is actually the state. Jadi kayak in in Indonesia it's like a province. Jadi kayak provinsi gitu kalau di Indonesia. But then uh, the name of the city is called como se llama? <laughs> Minatitlan. Minatitlan. Can you repeat again, Chester? What is the name? The name is Veracruz. And the city name is? The city name is Reddit. Minatitlan. Puedes, puedes escribirlo? Can you please rip, uh, write it down, Luis? In the chat? Sí, sí. Wait. Yo? Yeah. O él. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So. Jadi in 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 Mexico they are, there are a lot of states. Jadi di di sana tuh enggak enggak kayak apa namanya? enggak uh, kayak di sini dia dia bagian dari states gitu kayak negara bagian-bagian gitu. Kalau di di Indonesia we have like province, kayak provinsi gitu gitu. Just the, so that's the difference. Okay. Can you say the name of the city? Just the... Oh, the name is city is Luis has written it in the chat box. Can you say the name? Yeah. yeah. Wait. 
Come on, just there. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not hundred. Yeah, and can you say the name? Oh, the name, the name of city? Yes, say it. Oh, it's Minatikan. Ashla, dijo mejor que tú, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the name is a little bit difficult to say, is it? <laughs> As I say, uh, <laughs> the name is very, uh, yeah, it's a little bit complicated. Okay, so anyway, here is the 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 name is the in Veracruz, and yeah, actually Mexico is very very big, and there are a lot of a lot of um cities and also in in states i am just um states and actually i also have friend just that i also have friends that live near with luis tengo, tengo unos amigos que viven cerca de luis i have i have a friend that lives in puebla y en guadalajara tengo unos amigos de de viven en esta ciudad. Live in those places. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, so uh, now Luis is going to explain about the history of his city. Luis va a explicar sobre la historia de tu ciudad. Yeah, we're going to I uh, know about the city. Okay, so Luis, what about? Okay. Um, okay. And um, Minatlan was previously inhabited by arrow shooters. Okay. And uh, okay. I think it's better. Wait. <laughs> ¿Lo puedes decir en español? Sí, 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 está bien. Voy a okay. Vale, vale. Okay. Luis is going um, to explain it in Spanish. So, don't worry, Chester. I will, I will explain it to you again in English. Jadi, biar kamu, uh, so you know about how is it, how Spanish sound. Okay? Okay. okay um, pues, Minatitlán está compuesto por una palabra que es muy antigua, de un idioma muy antiguo, y no sabía hasta ahora, pero significa tierra de flechadores o lugar donde se tiró una flecha. Entonces, esa es, es, esa es la composición de la palabra y el significado del nombre de mi ciudad. Y se llama así porque antes allí vivían muchas tribus de flechadores y llegaron a habitar ahí por alguna u otra razón, está, vivieron allí y ahí fundaron su ciudad. Y sobre esa ciudad estamos nosotros ahora, que es donde podemos vivir. <laughs> ahora nada va a explicarlo en inglés. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was about this, the explanation. Uh, expli that was the explanation in, in Spanish. Uh, muchas gracias, Luis, and... Now I will tell you again, Chester, in English. So basically, Minatitlan was previously known inhibited by arrow shooters. You know what? Who is arrow shooters? This is the picture of arrow shooters. Yes. What is it in Bahasa Indonesia? Penembak panah. Nah, jadi penembak panah. Jadi sebelumnya, before, uh, in the past, itu there are so many arrow shooters in Minatitlan. Jadi ada banyak banget uh, pemanah yang di, yang ada di kotanya Luis. And then it was, it was also very interesting because uh, they have a lot of um, uh, arrow shooters, and that is the reason that they have a lot of uh, statues. Jadi banyak, what is statues? Statues yes. is, what is it? In Bahasa Indonesia. Yes, what is statues? Statues is like a uh, patung. Yes, that's right. That's why there are so many statues in Mexico, especially in Minatit. 
are so many stages of arrow shooters in his city, like this and this, and there are a lot of it. So just like what, uh, just like the name of the city, Minatitlan means the place where arrows are shot. Jadi tempat di mana panah ditembakkan. The place where the, the arrows are shot. Jadi kayak gitu. It was a very interesting history, you know? <laughs> It's very interesting. What about your city, Chester? Do you, uh, can you tell me, can you tell us a bit, a little bit about your city? Oh, yes. Um, my city name is Tabalong in, wait, wait, South Kalimantan. Hmm. Okay, yeah. so, uh, su ciudad se llama Tabalong in Isla de Kalimantan. In okay. Ur. Sur de, yeah. sur de uh, isla. Yeah. Okay, nice. so island island in 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 Spanish is se llama isla. Isla si. That's true. what is the Spanish word for island, Jester? Can you repeat? Oh yes, it's isla. Yeah, that's right. So this um and then this Chester and you then uh vivimos in in la isla diferente. We live in the different island. It's, yeah, <laughs> actually, the Chester and I are so so far away, right, Chester? <laughs> yeah, it's very far from me. But but Chester ever ever went to uh, my island. Pero Chester ha visitado mi isla. ¿Ah, sí? ¿Ha ido? Sí, pero en, en otra parte. <laughs> In the different okay. part. So, okay, yeah. Okay. okay, so there are a lot of statues over here. And uh, Luis, ¿cuál, cuál status en, en más cerca de tú? Which which one is the closest statues in your with your house? In the house, okay. Um, well, la que está más cerca sería la la estatua del hombre del de, hombre que está de pie que está con los brazos cruzados. Uh, yeah. Sí. sí, es que, la, es, que la, es la que está más cerca de mi casa. Después está, están, están, está más cerca, pero es, las demás están cerca de esa. Todas están, todas están, todas están juntas. Entonces, pero la que está más cerca es esta, la de la del hombre que está de pie. Con los brazos cruzados. Ese, ese. Ah, ok. So actually. Chester, the, those stages are very far away from from Louis' house, but the closest one is this this one. So here, uh, what is the Spanish word for near or yeah? What is near in Spanish, Chester? The near is in Spanish is carca. Yeah, cómo cómo se cómo se dice Luis is Cerca, no? Cerca. Sí. Yeah. Cerca so de you, mi casa. You, you say cerca. Can you repeat again, Chester? Oh, cerca. It's cerca. So you, you say the, the letter C is like sound. It's cerca. Yes, yes, yes. What about, uh, what about in, in Tabalong, Chester? Is there any statues about your city? Um, no, there are no statues in my city. Ah, no, I no, I stay to in in su ciudad. <laughs> There's no. A eso iba a preguntar, de hecho, que si habían algunas estatuas. En la tuya, no, nada. Ah, uh, sí. In my city, there are a lot of statues actually. Hay muchas estatuas en mi ciudad sobre um, sobre una elefante. There's a 
there's an elephant statues in my city just oh wow <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's the name is like gajah mungkur jadi gajah mungkur gajah se significa elefante mungkur es como una posición it's like a position that where you like um, apa ya uh, kayak membelakangi gitu it's like uh, going on the opposite going the opposite okay who was it <laughs> okay let's let's continue to the next one we're going to the most yeah my favorite one <laughs> my favorite my favorite food sí, sí, yes, sí. about food um, food yeah food yeah Obviamente, en primer lugar, está el taco. Que es yeah. lo que como diario, creo, todos los días, all day. Como tacos. So, the most, uh, the most obvious, uh, the most obvious, the most obvious food in Mexico are tacos. But is there any difference between, like, tacos in your in your states and others i'm i differentiate so uh, de los tacos in tu tu ciudad y otra is there any difference mm, no la mayoría son iguales pero si sí hay mucha variedad de tacos o sea ah. son muchos son muchos tacos son hay muchos diferentes pero la mayoría los conoce o sea en todo méxico conocemos toda la mayoría de tacos Ah, okay. So basically, there are many kinds of uh, variation of tacos just there in Mexico. ¿Y cuál es tu favorito? Tu taco favorito. What is your favorite uh, kind of taco? Uf, mi taco favorito serían. A ver, a ver la diapositiva. ¿Cuáles son los que están ahí? Están. Ah, uh, son. Creo que son de de carne carne asada ah with the with the, the meat one the beef I guess sí 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 esos son mis favoritos de carne asada con oh. mucho chile <laughs> mucho, <laughs> there's mucho a lot of, mucho, there's a lot of, mucho picante yeah the the spicy so picante is spicy oh yes Okay. Can you repeat again, Chester? What is spicy in Spanish? It's uh, picante. Yes, very good. Yeah, it's picante. Uh, I think that los tacos son picantes? Or are they all spicy? Naturalmente no. Pero si le echas salsa picante, sí, van a picar. Pero normalmente no. Los tacos sin salsa no pican. Son muy ricos, pero no pican. Oh, okay, okay. So basically, if you want to eat the natural tacos, like the the normal one, you don't have to, uh, it's not spicy at all. But then once you get like the salsa or sauce, sauce is, is salsa, no? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So sauce or salsa, if you put on, If you put like any sauce, that will be spicy. Okay, what about you, Chester? Do you like spicy or no? Not. Um. Yes, I like spicy. Oh, so if you want, if you eat tacos, you, will you, will you put sauce? Yes, maybe yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, el um, le gusta. Uh, picantes. Entonces cuando um, come, sa come tacos va a poner mucha salsa. Excelente, sí, me gustaría verlo. Ok, and the second one, what is it? El segundo. El segundo son los tamales. Oh. Yes, so what is that? Los tamales es una masa, o sea, es masa horneada. Eh, se ponen duritos, pero tienen carne adentro. También son muy deliciosos, no pican, pero igual si le pones salsa picante, 
<laughs> si Pika. I see, I see. Jadi sebenarnya, uh, well actually tamales are the traditional dish that made from a dove uh, that is like with the corn husk and banana leaf. Jadi sebenarnya di situ tuh dia ada kayak daging gitu loh, Chester. There's a, some meat and then wrap using the the banana leaf. Jadi di dikukus gitu. It's steamed with banana leaf. Jadi dikukus pakai daun pisang. I think we have like similar similar food like that in Indonesia. Do we? Yeah. Yeah, if you remember the movie Coco, the uh, Miguel will eat tamales, right? In the in the beginning of the movie. Hmm. Yeah. He was so like, uh, his grandma, his grandma, his abuelita, um, forced him to eat more tamales. Lebi a comer muchas tamales. Muy ricos, pero no más, no más que los tacos. <laughs> ok, ok. ¿Qué es, qué es el sabor? ¿Podemos like, poner la salsa? ¿Can we like add uh, sauce on tamales? Sí, a los tamales le puedes poner salsa y saben aún mejor. So you can put salsa, you can put sauce in the tamales. Oh, that's very interesting. And the the next one, it looks like pizza. Parece muy similar con pizza. <laughs> right, Chester, parece, it parece. looks like pizza. Can yes, it's like pizza. No, no, no. Es, es una memela. <laughs> memela. Es una tortilla grande. Es enorme. Bueno, no tan grande. Sí, sí es grande. Es una tortilla grande que tiene frijoles, tiene queso, tiene oh. aguacate, salsa, eh, huevo, carnes. Es muy rica, es una combinación de muchas cosas. Ah. Pero es muy rico. Hasta plátanos también, que también lleva plátanos fritos. Okay, okay, so it's basically like a tortilla that you use for tacos. So, las tortillas que usas con para los tacos? No, son tortillas diferentes. Ah, okay, so it's basically the. Estas there... las hacen como a, con la mano. Bueno, oh. todas las tortillas las, las hacen a mano, pero esta es diferente. Es, es más grande que una tortilla normal. Es como tres veces más grande que una tortilla normal. <laughs> okay, so the memela is this is another traditional dish that has like the tortilla with the tortilla that you see in tacos, Chester. Jadi, in tacos, you will see this kind of tortilla, right? But in memela, the tortilla is bigger. banget mm. gitu. It's very big, and there are so many things inside. Just like you see, there are ad, ada avocado, there are avocado, ada uh, what egg. else? Egg, yes. And there's a meat. Wow, there's a lot of things. <laughs> I La wish tortilla is... creo que es más grande que su cabeza. <laughs> what? It's even bigger than your head. The tortilla. <laughs> oh. Con una que coma ya se llena, o la mitad, yo creo. Wow, so you should eat that with more, many people. Um, comes con mucha gente. Podría ser, si eres una persona que come mucho, con una si te llenas. Oh. Pero si eres, una persona, si eres una persona normal, creo que con la mitad, estás, que estás satisfecho con la mitad de una memela. Oh, wow. Dos personas pueden comerse una memela. <laughs> okay, so basically, if you eat a lot, then you can like eat at eat the memela yourself, all by yourself. What about you, Chester? Do you eat a lot? Gomez mucho? No. Oh, so you would you like eat the memela by yourself or with others? Oh, uh, with others. Others with your family? Con tu familia? 
<laughs> oh, very good. Okay, so I think that, well, I don't eat a lot either. So I think, creo que voy a, voy a, voy a comerlo con otra. Sí, es que está grande, es grande. It's big. Okay, it's very big. Okay, Jester, do you know what is big in Spanish? Oh, yes. Big is grande. Yes, very good. Anyway, Chester, you can take notes, yeah? You can take notes for the vocabulary, like a new vocabulary that you learned today. Okay, um, uh, Luis, por favor, continúa. La que sigue es el mole. Like a chicken. El mole. Okay, el mole. A ese sí ya no le puedes poner salsa. Porque el mole ya pica. Ah. Eh, es el mole. Bueno, no sé si allá lo han de preparar. No, no sé, no creo. Es como la combinación de varios chiles licuados eh, en, una, en una salsa. Son varios chiles. Le echan chocolate, le echamos pan. Le echamos eh, semillas y toda esa combinación hace el mole. Y al final le echan unas presas de pollo, pero eso es opcional. El mole como tal es muy rico. Se puede comer con arroz. Y a ese sí ya no, ya no le eche salsa porque el mole pica. So it's like basically a chicken, es un apoyo. Sí, es, es una pierna de pollo. Ah. Son dos presas, dos presas de pollo. Okay. Yes. Pero, el, el, o sea, lo que, lo importante de ese platillo es el mole, lo, lo café, el líquido café. Uh -huh. Eso es el mole. Oh. Es... Okay, the, the, it, it, es similar con salsa. It's... Es yeah, parecida. It looks... It looks like salsa. It looks like any kind of like sauce and then you pour it in, in the chicken. So the chicken, yeah. pour it to the chicken. And you can eat that with rice. Podemos, podemos comer, comerlo con arroz? Con arroz, yes. Yes, Chester, you, so we still can have rice. <laughs> we still yeah. can have rice, Chester. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, we eat rice a lot. Comemos, comemos a mucho arroz. What about you? Do you? Do you eat, do you eat the rice a lot? Eat rice, Jester? Yeah, I eat rice. Yeah, so, los asiáticos comen arroz mucho. We Asian, we eat rice a lot. Like, tenemos tres, tres veces de comer arroz. We like eat, eat rice three times a day. So, yeah. How about you, Chester? How many times do you eat rice in a day? Uh, three times for uh, one day. Oh, yeah. So, ¿Verdad? <laughs> comemos, comemos tres veces arroz en, en un día. <laughs> <laughs> nunca, nunca no lo hago. Es que arroz, de, si, si comes sin arroz, if you eat something without rice, even if it's like a big portion of burger, incluso que comes, uh, comes una hamburguesa grande, pero sin arroz, mm, significa no, no comes nada. You, okay. it means you don't eat anything. Yo <laughs> digo, namanya, meskipun kayak, Makan apa gitu. If you don't, if there's no rice, kalau nggak ada nasi, you still like snacking. It's like como una, una, no comes, no comes nada. It's just like you don't eat anything. <laughs> Eso siempre... pasa, lo, pasa lo mismo con, aquí en México, pasa lo mismo con las tortillas. Ah, ok. So... Eh, cualquier comida tiene que llevar tortilla. Okay, okay. So it's different, Chester. So in Mexico, we should, they should eat like tortilla a lot. Jadi kayak tortilla itu pengganti nasi gitu ya. 
kayak nasi di sini. It is just like here. Every time you eat any meals, you should like eat tortilla. There should be any tortilla. Siap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Okay, now what about Chester? Chester, can you tell us your uh, food in Tabalong? In what is desir desir uh, nosotros sobre tu tu comida tradicional? My food in Tabalong is paliat. Uh, can you please write down the name in chat? Okay, pal. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so se llama paliat. Paliat. Uh -huh. Can you tell me tell us more about it, Chester? Yes, the paliat is like food in from Tabalong. The food in kind with fish. Oh, fish, patin, patin fish. Patin fish. Yes. 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 It's like a fish in wait. Um, it's okay, Chester. If you want to say in Bahasa Indonesia, I will help you. Okay. Jadi ikan, jadi paliat itu kan piring kan ada ikan sama apa kuahnya? Kuahnya itu ada campuran dari santan. Jadi kuahnya itu warna kuning. Oh, okay, okay. So it's una comida. Uh, it's like a, it's food that made from fish, and there are like sauce like this, una salsa. Pero no, it's muy uh, not very thick like this, and the the color is yellow. Is uh, la comida okay. is amarilla. Okay. And yeah. is it is it spicy, Chester? Es picante. No, it's not oh, it's spicy. Not. It's not spicy. <laughs> and no. okay. And do you have you ever eat that food? Yes. 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 So, mama puede cocinarlo? Um, maybe not. Oh, no. Oh? Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> where, when, uh, where did you eat the food? Uh, sí. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde comes esta comida? I eat uh, in... Yes. Oh, I don't know. You eat that in the restaurant? Mm, yes. That's great. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, do you know how to say restaurant in Spanish? Oh, restaurant. What is restaurant in, in Spanish? Restaurante. Yes, yes, very good. Yeah, it's restaurante. Hay <laughs> I, I un, I un restaurante en, en, tu, en tu ciudad, Luis? Sí, hay muchos. Hay como 20. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Y cuál es tu favorito? Um, aquí, por, aquí por mi casa hay uno. Mm -hmm. Como a 10 metros mm -hmm. que venden memelas. Ah, y ese es mi favorito. Okay, so yes. there is a there is a restaurant in Louis, that near Louis' house. It's like around only like 
10 meters and they sell me milk. So, okay. yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah, I think I would like to, I would like to try the food. I mean, while in, in my city, in my ciudad, I una comida tradicional. There are so many like traditional food. Is one of them is called nasi krawu. Wait, let me let me type it out. <laughs> yeah. So nasi nasi is arroz. Nasi okay. nasi is arroz and rice. Okay, Chester, can you um can you tell me what is the Spanish word for rice? Yes, rice is arroz. Ah, that's great, arroz. So here, the my traditional food is in here. La comida, la comida tradicional in mi ciudad se llama nasi krabu. Krabu is uh, como, es una manera de comer. Krabu is like basically the way you eat using your hand. Pues es muy normal para, para comer Con nuestra... Con las manos. Sí, it's very common to eat with the hand and then the crow is basically just like this. Es como esa manera. Jadi, okay. apa crow gitu, kayak crow gitu loh, Chester. Do you eat, do you also eat, uh, eat food with your hands, Chester? Mm, yes. Yeah, so it's that. And the food is like uh, made from beef. Beef. Yeah. Beef. Yeah, beef is carne de, yeah, it's carne. It's like, uh, the meat from cow. It's <laughs> beef. Yeah, it's muy rico. Y porque um, hay también una salsa muy picante. Es, se llama sambal. Sambal es uh, salsa picante. Jadi sambal okay. eh, eh, sambal in Indonesia es, es una salsa muy picante. Do you eat do you, do you also eat sambal, Chester? Yeah. 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 Es muy picante. Sí, si, es muy muy picante. Sambal es es como like todo todas Todas las Indonesias lo no sé. Sambal es okay. comida, comida tradicional. Pero no, no puedes, no puedes comer sola una sambal. You cannot eat that. It's como una salsa. You cannot just eat the salsa. <laughs> Bayangin kalau makan sambal doang gitu kan pasti udah siap. Mm, yeah, it's terrible. It's muy terrible para comer sola. Ok. ¿Es roja? Uh, yeah. What is, uh, well, I, I am, hay muchas variantes de sambal. Ada banyak, ada apa, there are many kind of different sambal, right, Chester? Even in, yes. ba, in Indonesia. What about, what about in your city, Chester? What kind of, how, how, uh, how does it look like, sambal? Mm. I don't know. You <laughs> just like what you have. Yeah, I think the well the standard normalmente tenemos una sambal con las 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 chili what is with a lot of chilies and then tomato and and then you will like fry them. Frito. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think this is very interesting to learn about uh, about food. And now we have a game. Let's play a game about tongue twister. Oh. Tongue twister. Do you know tongue twister, Chester? What is tongue twister? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Oh. Oh. Tongue twister. Tongue twister is travel language. Is, is correct? Se, yes. Se, se okay, so yeah, tongue twister is travel lingua in in Spanish. Can you repeat again, Chester? What is what is uh, tongue twister in Spanish? Uh, 
So, song twister in Spanish is Rebel Lingua. Yes, very good. So here, actually, Rebel Lingua or tongue twister is uh, words or sentences that seems the same that makes our tongue twist. Es parece son son unas palabras que que me hacen muy confundida. <laughs> because <laughs> porque son similares. Because they are this uh, because they are very similar so that it got, it makes us confused. So every language, every language cada ling, cada cada idioma tenemos um, tienen su in in every country they they will have like a uh, tongue twister they own they have tongue twister even in bahasa indonesia just in bahasa indonesia we also have that like uh, oh. kepala diurut kelapa di <laughs> this this kind of word yeah have, uh, do you know do you know that have you ever heard yeah jadi kayak apa namanya uh, tongue twister itu kayak gitu jadi kayak uh, kepala diurut kelapa di parut then, but then you should say it very quickly tenemos que dice dice lo muy muy como se dice fast fast yeah we should say it very fast okay so in this tongue twister game we're going to try on you on saying the tongue twister in spanish yeah. And Luis will help us with that. <laughs> Luis will <laughs> ayudar. <laughs> okay, empiezo yo. Okay, let's let's begin with the first one. Empezamos. El primero dice así. <laughs> Tengo miedo de equivocarme. <laughs> okay, el primero es... Pepe Pecas pica papas con un pico. Con un pico pica papas Pepe Pecas. Si Pepe, si Pepe Pecas pica papas con un pico, ¿dónde está el pico con el que Pepe Pecas pica papas? ¿Qué? Ah, oh my God. That is so difficult. Uh, I don't know if I can say it. Okay, so... Just then let's uh, let's try it first and then I will I will try myself as well. Okay, okay Chester, go Chester, go Chester, go go and try it. Yeah, yeah I will try. Wait, 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 I will say it. Yeah, you should say it very quickly. Okay. Pepe Pecas be uh wait wait. Pepe Pecas pica papas con un pico, con un pico pica papas, Pepe Pecas. Si Pepe Pecas pica papas o con un pico, ¿dónde está el pico con el que Pepe Pecas pica papas? Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's very fast. Yeah. What, what do you think? ¿Qué piensas, Luis? Muy bien, very nice. Yeah, that's right. Well, just like another uh, muy bien, we say muy bien in Spanish. Uh, it means very good. Very good. Just okay. like, uh, Chester, if you want to say like, if you want to give compliment to others, you can say muy bien. It's like very good. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I will try. I will try. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my God, I got nervous. Okay. <clears throat> Pepe pecas picas papas con un pico, con un pico pica papas Pepe pecas. Si Pepe pecas picas pica papas con un pico, ¿dónde está el pico con el que Pepe pecas pica papas? Uh, my tongue. <laughs> yes. uh, very good. Uh, uh, muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Yay. Yes. Oh no, I don't know. It's very, it's very difficult. Especially with the child, especially with, with this kind of word, like donde, go, because there's a like tilde in, in this one, so it's very difficult, like donde, como se dice? Donde, así, donde. Donde, cual es el different, what is the difference when you put like child and 
sin, sin tilde. La diferencia sin tilde es don, donde. No, creo que es igual, es igual, nada más que, a ver, son leyes gramaticales de aquí de México. Uh -huh. Y cuando es una pregunta, cuando vas a preguntar algo, la palabra dónde tiene que llevar una tilde en la O. Cuando ah, es una no. pregunta. Oh, cuando okay. no es una pregunta, no la lleva. Okay, so because the, this one is the question word, Chester, because there's a question word, so you should put like on, on a tile over here, so it becomes donde. Donde means, what does it mean, Chester? Donde. Donde is what word? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Where? What is donde? Donde is where. Where, yeah, don't is where. Sorry, I I cannot I cannot put tile in here because my my keyword my keyword is not in Spanish. Lo, perdóname, no tiene teclado en español. No puedo poner tilde. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, so don't is a where. So yeah, basically this this one is a is a question. Es una pregunta. Okay, so let's continue to the next one. Next time, Twister. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. Luis, uh, por va. The, the was, uh, yeah. Give, give us, give us a, an example. <laughs> Esto es más fácil, creo yo. Ah, it's, it's more, it's easier, Chester, so get ready. <laughs> okay, boy. Me han dicho que tú has dicho un dicho que yo he dicho. Ese dicho está mal dicho. Pues si yo lo hubiera dicho, estaría mejor dicho que el dicho que me han dicho que has dicho. O que tú has dicho, más o menos. Más o menos. <risa> oh, my God. It's so difficult. It's still difficult. To... No, me mentiras. <risa> es todavía muy... Es muy difícil. It's still difficult. What about no, you, Jester? Just... Es... Más fácil, es fácil. Do you think it's difficult or it's easier? It's, maybe it's easier. It's easier? Oh, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay, Jester, now try, try the tongue twister, please. Me han dicho que tú has dicho un dicho que yo he dicho, ese dicho está mal dicho, pues si yo lo hubiera dicho, estaría mejor dicho que el dicho, pues a mí me han dicho, tú has dicho. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, it's very, you guys really nailed it. It's cool. I will try myself. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't write it. <laughs> me han dicho que tú, que tú has dicho un dicho que yo he dicho ese dicho mal, está mal dicho pues si yo lo hubiera dicho estaría mejor dicho que él dicho que, mi, que a mí me han dicho tú has dicho más Uy. fácil lo ves <laughs> yo creo que sí well, a fun fact Chester, in Spanish we don't We don't pronounce the H word. Jadi uh, huruf H di sini tuh nggak dibaca. You don't say this one. Jadi like me and dicho. Oh, masih. Me and dicho. That's right. And yeah. <coughs> That's was about the tongue twister. And yeah, thank you. Thank you, Luis, for giving us an example. Which is good, yes. And the next no, one is the, the the thing that we've been waiting for. We're going to learn about Dia de Muertos. Dia de Muertos. Okay, Chester, have you got your workbook with you? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Okay, so here um yeah the next one is uh we have watched the movie coco so this uh, we're going to talk more about it okay. uh, 
this you can you can give us uh, you can explain to us explain us. i i read no no do you want to read it do you, do you want to try to read this in spanish oh yes oh great try it try it okay okay El Día de Muertos es una tradición mexicana celebrada el wait, wait, wait. Miss? Yes. Number one and two. Ah, ya. Yeah. Um, Luis, ¿podrías, ayud ¿podrías ayudarnos con eso? Co celebrada en el uno y dos. Mm -hmm. Ah, son los días, el primer día y el segundo día de noviembre. Oh, el prim... ¿Cómo, cómo se dice, por favor? First day, primer día. Primer día. Primer, Pri... primer día. Primer día. Ok. Oh, y el segundo day. día de noviembre. Ok, and the second one, el segundo. El segundo día. El de noviembre. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, I already put it in the chat box, Chester, so you can continue. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I will. El Día de Muertos es una tradición mexicana celebrada el, el primer y el segundo de noviembre en la que se honra a los muertos. El día primer es de, 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 dedicado a todos los santos, en especial a los min, niños well, El segundo de noviembre dedicado a los adultos parecidos. ¡Yay! ¡Muy bien! <laughs> hey. So, yeah, so I will try to um, explain it again in English. So basically, en el Día de Muertos is a tradition like is a mexican tradition that is celebrated in the first and the second november jadi dia tiap tiap satu tiap tanggal satu dan tiap tanggal dua november itu untuk menghormati to honor the dead people jadi the spirit of dead jadi orang-orang kayak untuk menghormati orang-orang meninggal gitu and the first day jadi kan perayaannya kan ada dua there are two days uh, the first one is dedicated to the to the uh to the <coughs> to the person to the people that died especially for niños for kids niños are kids right yes yeah niños are kids so while for the second day of november is dedicated for adults so there yeah. are two days of difference and apa namanya in the movie Coco, uh, we we were we already saw them right. There are a lot of like a uh, spirit of dead people that comes to the living world, and they visit their family. Uh, yeah, some visit visit them those fa sus familias. They visit their family. It's very it's very cool. And, yeah, they are the 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 example of the real Dia de los Muertos. This is how Dia de los Muertos looks like in Mexico, actually. Okay, so Luis, ¿podrías, podrías explicarnos sobre eso? Uh, sí, and in imagines it's minutes to an ancient canon. Ah, no, esta no. Aquí no estoy. Uh -huh. Nada más está mi, nada más está el altar que hice en la universidad. Un altar de muertos. Um, es una tradición que se hace en, 
todos los años por esas fechas y casi la mayoría de, de las familias lo hacen. Si sí, no es que creo que todas, todas las familias hacen esta tradición de hacer un altar, de poner eh, the favorite foods, la comida favorita de la persona que murió y algunas personas se maquillan. No todas, pero sí la mayoría. ¿Tú? Yo creo que una vez nada más lo hice. Ok, that's very good. Thank you, Luis. So here there are some pictures about the Dia de los Muertos. The first one is in, in Luis University. So Universidad es University. And then here is the celebration of Dia de los Muertos. And if you if you remember, Papa, uh, um, Chester, do you remember the, the flowers, the orange flowers that was in Coco movie that brings them back to life? Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 What is the name of that flower, Luis? ¿Qué se llama las flores? Uh, las flores uh, se llaman... Sembasuchel. ¿Qué? Lo puedes escribir si quieres. Ok. ¿Lo escribo? Sí, sí, sí. Escribe. Escribe. No recuerdo si es con Z o es con S. It's the, it's like the orange flowers that brings back the spirit of dead people so that they will come to the living world. <laughs> okay, lo tengo. Lo tengo, lo tengo. Es que es complicado el hombre. Oh, yeah. oh so Sí, es como Sempatsuchil. 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 Pero no suena. Es como tl. Sempatsuchil. Sempatsuchil. <laughs> okay. What about you, Jester? Can you try to say the word? Oh, wait. Try it, try it. It's the flower, like the orange flower in movie. Oh. Sí, se usan en todos los altares. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, so this one is the 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 celebration in Luis University, and in Dia de los Muertos, the people are trying to are like they they like do some makeup. They will look like this, like um, skeleton. <laughs> yeah, just like what the dead people looks like in movie Coco. They also like become like the the skeleton, right? The are bones. Kayak gitu. Jadi mereka ber apa kayak uh, mereka make up kayak dandan kayak orang meninggal just kind of stuff. Just like the with those skeleton. <laughs> and they are there are a lot of celebration. And the in aisle they put the people will put the favorite favorite food of the dead people. Jadi, uh, in movie Coco, did you, uh, we saw that uh, they will put like in the, even in the graveyard, they put like their favorite food and a drink or anything that they they like when they were alive. Jadi pas waktu, apa, mereka tuh kayak um, naruh, naruh makanan, minuman, atau hal-hal yang disuka sama orang yang udah meninggal itu tadi, when they were alive. Oh, that, that is very interesting because it's in here in Indonesia también hay, hay algo muy similares es que ponemos, ponemos las flores 
and graveyard. And los agares de los fallecidos. And yeah, we put like flores. No es no comida, solo flores. Okay. And since uh, that was about the family, that was about the <coughs> celebration. And now we're going to continue with the workbook. Okay, so that was about the presentation. Muchas gracias, Luis. And now we're going to learn, we're going to go back to the workbook that you did last time. Jesser, have you got the workbook with you? Yeah, where um, have did you get your workbook with you that I about about Coco, the family of Coco? Yeah, yes. let's uh, let's do it again, and we're we're going to learn about family in Spanish. Jadi, uh, you can like take notes. Jadi nanti sambil belajar juga about family in in Spanish. Wait a minute, let me share my screen. Ah. We're going to continue directly to the family tree. ¿Cómo se dice family tree in Spanish, Luis? ¿Cómo se dice este? Family. Family tree. tree. Yeah, así. Árbol familiar. Árbol familia. Yes. Okay, wait, let me put it down. Oh. Familia. Okay, so this is how you say family tree in Spanish. Chester, uh, can you repeat again what is what is family tree in Spanish? Yes, it's arbol familia. Yes, that's about arbol familia. So here we're going to take a look at the at the <clears throat> at the family tree of Miguel. And did you have you done this this word this part? Chester, about the Rivera's family? Oh, yes. Okay. Now let's go with the first one. What is it? Can you say this sentence first? Okay. Socorro is Miguel. Okay, let's see. Socorro. Where is Socorro? Mm, ah. See, this one, this person is Socorro. Who is this? Yeah. Who is Miguel? Okay, what's the relationship, Chester? ¿Cuál es la relación? Socorro is Miguel's? Socorro is Miguel's grandmother. Oh, grandmother? Really? Mm, wait. Did he? It's their parents, right? And the yeah. parents have two children, Miguel and Socorro. Berarti Socorro ini siapa? Who is who is she? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who Socorro is she? Is Miguel's brother. The brother? Is he a, a male or female? Oh. A sister. Yes. Ah, so can you say it again, please? Socorro is Miguel's sister. Ah, very good. Socorro is Miguel's sister. How to say sister in Spanish? Luis. Um, Who says you say sister in Spanish? Uh, yo? <laughs> sí, sí, sí. Uh, hermana. Hermana. Her hermana. Okay, Chester, can you can you tell us what is sister in Spanish? Oh, sister in Spanish is hermana. Yes, very good. How many how many hermana do you have, Chester? Just one. Just one. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, yeah, so you can write it down as well, Chester. Jadi di apa sekalian ditulis ya biar nanti kita bisa belajar so that we can learn. As well, okay. Well, now the second second one. 
Okay, the P, what is that, Chester? Okay, Hector is Imelda's. Okay, let's see, Hector and Imelda. Okay, so this one is Hector and this one is Imelda. What is the relationship? Kira -kira. Who is it? So they got married and has the some kids. Berarti email Hector is Imelda's with wife. Imelda's wife. Wait. Hector itu siapanya Imelda? Wait. Hector is Imelda's. Yeah, wife apa? Has? Husband. Ah, very good. It's husband. So what is husband in Spanish, Luis? What is husband in Spanish? Esposo. Esposo. Okay. So what is uh, what is husband in Spanish, Jester? Husband in Spanish is esposo. Very good. Yes, it's esposo. Okay, now let's go with uh, to the third one, number C. Yeah. What is number C? Wait, wait. Number C yang siap atau? Wait, Coco is Melda's mother. Eh, really? Coco's Coco is Imelda's. Okay, berarti Coco itu siapanya Imelda? Coco is mother Imelda. Coco itu siapanya Imelda? Who who? What's the relationship with? Coco and Imelda. Who Coco is Imelda's mother. Mother? Kebalik dong. <laughs> yeah. Berarti apa? Coco is Imelda's dog. Oh, <laughs> 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 What is it? Berarti Coco itu siapanya Imelda? Coco is Imelda's? Wait. Okay. Jadi anak perempuan. Do you know what is anak perempuan? Mm, yes. Kalau anak laki-laki kan sun. Berarti yeah. kalau perempuan? Dog? Dog. 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 Nah, that is it. Nah, you can write it down ya. Jangan lupa ditulis ya buat catatan. Como se dice daughter in Spanish? In Spanish, se dice hija. 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 How do you, how do you say it, Chester? Hija. Jadi, you say the G sound, G letter, As an H. Makanya, oh. makanya kalau di, di, di Spanyol, kalau ngomong, ng kalau ketawa dia gini, bukan hahaha. <laughs> right? Nah, jadi dia pakai J, bukan pakai H. Yeah. So, it's IHA. What is IHA again? IHA is daughter. Yes, and what is daughter in Bahasa Indonesia? Bahasa Indonesia is anak perempuan. Ah, that's right. Kalau anak laki-laki apa? Son. Son. Okay, very good. Apa, um, remember ya. Okay, let's see the next one. Number four. Yang D. Wait. 
Coco is Julio. Coco is Julio. Wait. Coco is Julio's. Coco and Julio. Coco and Julio. Is Julio. Si siapa? Kayak yang tadi ya? Miguel sama Ade. Berarti Coco is Julio's. Husband. Husband? Eh. Oh, wife. Wife. Very good. Wife. What is wife in Spanish? Como se dice wife in Espanol? Uh, wife. Esposa. Esposa. Yes, jadi in husband is esposo and wife is esposa. Okay, well done. Chester, now let's go to the next number. Eight. Yeah. Okay, next, please. Abel is Miguel's. Yeah, Abel is Miguel's. Okay, Abel and Miguel. Let's see. This one is Miguel and this one is Abel. So, what's the relationship? Um, in Bahasa Indonesia? Yeah, what is, what is the relationship between Miguel and Abel? In Bahasa? In English. Do you know oh. what, is in, what is it in English? What is the relationship? Uh, I don't know. Bell is Miguel's. Mereka apa? Mereka kan sepupu ya, sepupu, right? Yeah. So what uh, is it? How? It's cousin. Yeah, cousin. Kamu sih bisa cousin in in Spanish, Luis. Se dice primo. Primo. What is uh, what is primo? What is uh, cousin gesture in Spanish? It's primo. Jadi cousin is sepupu, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Jadi kayak just like this one. Cousin is sepupu. Don't forget to take notes, ya. Yeah. Sepupu. Yeah. Just like, uh, don't forget to take notes. Jangan lupa dicatat. Yeah. It'll be easy for you to. Okay, now the next one. What do we have here? Nah. Next, please. Yeah. Gloria is Megan. Let's see. Gloria and... Gloria is here, and this one is. Ah. Who is she? What's the what's the relationship? Um. Hey. She. Um, I don't know. It's apa? Kalau apa namanya? So our uh, the sister of our mother. Gitu. The sister of our the the sister of our father. Jadi saudaranya ayah atau ibu. What is it called? How do we call? Aunt. Aunt. Yeah, yeah it's aunt. Right? Apa kayak tante? Aunt. So, como se dice aunt in español, Luis? Aunt in español es tía. Tía. Okay. Hey, can you repeat again, Chester? What is aunt in Spanish? Aunt in Spanish is... 
Iya. Iya, Tia. Jadi aunt itu kayak saudaranya ayah atau ibu. Jadi uh, the sister of our parents. Okay. Do you have aunt, Chester? Um. Yes. Yes, you do. Okay. So that's how you call them, like the sister of our parents. Itu aunt. Okay, very good. We have uh, five more to go. And the next one, what is it? The next one is... Elena is Miguel. Okay, Elena and Miguel. Let's see. Then Elena and Miguel. Okay. This one is Elena... And this one is Miguel. So, Elena is Miguel's? Um. Ya, jadi orang tua dari ayah sama ibu. What is it called? Call is grandmother. Yes, very good. So, Elena is Miguel's grandmother. How do you say grandmother in Spanish? Como se dice? Abuela. Abuela. So it's grandmother. grandmother or grandma. Can you repeat again, Chester? What is grandmother in Spanish? Grandma is... Abuela. Very good. Or maybe we, in, we can also have like the abuelita. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Ah, go. Um, what about you, Luis? How do you call your grand grandma? ¿Cómo le digo yo a mi mamá, a mi abuelita? Sí, sí, sí. Abuelita. Abuelita. Oh, boy. <laughs> a veces okay. abue, a veces abuelita. Qué lindo. <laughs> Yeah, what about you, Chester? How do you call your grandma? Yes, I call her Popo. Sorry, how, how do you call her? I call her Popo. Coco? Do you call her Coco? Yeah. Your grandma, you call her Coco? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. That's interesting. That's the same with the with the name here, Coco. <laughs> yeah. So do we have like? Uh, tenemos muchas para, muchas diferentes maneras para llamar su, a nuestra abuela. Okay, and the next one, what do we have here? Yeah. Felipe and Oscar are in Melders. Okay, Felipe and Oscar. Oh, are in Melders. Oh, I think they are twin, right? Yes. <laughs> they are twin. So who are they? Felipe and Oscar are in Melders. Felipe and Oscar are in Melders. Who are they? Hmm. Are, uh, itu dia saudara laki-lakinya kan? So, who are they? Bra? Oh, brother. Ah, that's right. Ini kan mereka, mereka kan satu saudara kan? They both are siblings, ya yeah, kan? Nah, so they are Imelda's brothers. But don't forget to put an S. Ya yeah, kan? Jangan lupa nambahin yeah. S because they are two. Brothers. So uh, what is brother? Como se llama? Como se dice brother in Espanol? Luis. 
Brother en español es hermano. Pero si vas a hablar de dos, cuando ya son más de uno, ya es hermanos. Ah, so it's the same in English, Chester. Jadi, kalau di Spanyol itu, if there are more than one, you can, you also put S. Yeah. So, what is, uh, what is brother in Spanish, Chester? Is brother in Spanish is hermano. Hermano, very good. Do you have, how many de hermano do you have, Chester? Wait, two hermano. Ah, you have two hermanos, very good. También, yo también, I also have two hermanos. Tengo dos hermanos. <laughs> What about you, Luis? ¿Cuántos hermanos tienes? One sister. Ah, only one sister. Solo hermana. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let's go to the next one. What is it? Wait. Ber. Berto is Miguel's. Okay. Berto is Miguel's. Where is Berto? Oh, here. Berto, just like Gloria, right? It's the brother of your, of his father. So how do you call her? How do you call him? It's uncle. Uncle, very good. So Berto is Miguel's uncle. uncle. ¿Cómo se dice uncle en español? En español se dice tío. Tío, okay. So if it's like aunt is tía and uncle is tío. What is uncle in Spanish, Chester? Uncle in Spanish is tío. Ah, very good. Do you have tío, sister? Chester? Yes. Um, no. Oh, you don't have. <laughs> Okay, what about Louis? Oh, you have? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. What about Louis? Tienes, tienes tío? Yes. Tengo cuatro. Oh. oh, you have four, four uncles. That's nice. Okay, let's go to the next one. We're almost done. Okay, the next one. The next one is Luisa is Miguel. Luisa, Luisa and Miguel. Oh, yeah. Luisa. Luisa. Where is Luisa? Ah, here. Luisa and Miguel. Luis. What's the religion? Son. Luisa is Miguel's? Son. Son? Really? Berarti anaknya dong? Mother. Mother. Very good. So Luisa is Miguel's mother. Como se dice mother in Spanish? Madre. Madre. No. Yeah, so there are two different kind of um, way. We have madre and mama. Ah! <laughs> es tu her es your hermana? Yes. Ay! <laughs> uh, oh, she's so cute. Hi, Bella. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> ah, she is so cute. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like 
she wants to join you, Chester. Ngayon, dia mau ikut kamu. She's come to me. Ah, she's come to you. How cute. She wants to join. <laughs> she wants to learn English. <laughs> okay, the last one, the last one. Let's go. The last one is Enrique is Miguel's. Yeah, Enrique is Miguel's father. Father, very good. How do you say father? Father. How do you say father in Spanish? Padre. Okay. Padre. <laughs> oh my God, Bella is so cute. She, can she speak already? Chester, can she speak? Um, No. Not yet? Yeah, not yet. <laughs> okay. So here is, uh, anyway, um, father in Spanish is padre or papa. Yeah, padre or papa. How do you call your father, Jester? My father is, uh, I call it his papa. You call him papa? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. What about yeah. you, Luis? Como, como se, uh, como, how do you call your father? Yeah. Um, how do you call your father? Como, this is uh, to, to papa. Ah, yo le digo. Papá o oh. bueno yo le digo solamente pa o sea pa p yes <laughs> oh, that's pa. that's cute all right yay we have finished we bien everyone <laughs> yay oh actually we still we still have one more is the last one is about alebrijes yeah um, Chester, do you still remember the Pepita in the movie Coco? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. it's Alebrijes. Luis, can you please uh, explain a little bit about what is Alebrijes? Um, see. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Uh, los alebrijes son como una especie de guía espiritual en el Día de Muertos. Y ellos se encargan de, por ejemplo, si tu alma está perdida, se encargan de guiarte, de... Eh, de tratar de llevarte por el camino al mundo de los muertos o al mundo de los vivos, depende a de dónde quieras ir. Y son una excelente compañía cuando estás solo en el mundo de los muertos. Ah, how sweet. Yeah, so actually, Pepita, just like what, you, what uh, we see in the movie Coco, it is one of the other brijes. So basically, Los Alebrijes are the spirit guide that in the land of the dead. Jadi mereka itu kayak me, apa memandu gitu, kayak apa uh, nemenin gitu, nemenin orang-orang yang meninggal in the in the land of the dead. Kayak gitu. Jadi kayak uh, jadi temen gitu di sana. If you still remember in the movie Coco, yang Dante, the dog. Yes. The people thought that he was Alebrijes. He thought yes. that it was Alebrijes. And now let's go with the description. Can you describe how Pepita looks like? Yes, Pepita is look like a uh, Pepita has four hands, two two hands, uh, two wait, like, two feet. Um, wait, wait. Two hands, eh. Two feet, eagle, and two feet, lion. The color of the is green, light, blue, yellow, red, orange, blue, and black. 
Tabitha has two wings. Uh, the color is yellow, white, blue, blue, and black. The Tabitha has two eyes, two horns, two wings, and one tail. And Tabitha has 16 nails. Oh, great. Okay, well done, Jester. It's very, very detailed. It's very detailed. <laughs> okay, so anyway, what have we learned today? We have to learn. Hmm? learn. Yeah, Jester, what have we learned today? We have learned is let's get to know Mexico with Luis. Yeah, we learned about getting to know Mexico with Luis. And yeah, what uh, did you learn any new words in Spanish? Jester, can you tell us again? Okay, yes, it's <laughs> Bella is over there. Bella, Bella is trying to get get down. <laughs> She's so chubby. Well, okay, Jester, can you tell us the Spanish word that you learn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I... Oh, wait. Just so you can just say it. Gak, oh. gak perlu ditulis, gak apa-apa. Ya, yeah. you already take notes, right? Kamu kan udah udah nyatet. Nah, sekarang just say say the word. Okay. What? Iceland is isla. Nah, isla is island. Is... Hmm? Picante is spicy. Sauce is salsa. Grande is big. Arroz is rice. Restaurante is res... restaurant. One is river, two is segundo, two is primo. Wait, grandma is abuela, father is father. Okay, very good. Muy bien. Yay. Okay, so the last I say, I would like to say, uh, Luis, do you have any words for Jester? Tienes algo para Jester? Um, pues no, mucho gusto en conocerlo. Mm -hmm. um, espero volverlo a ver pronto con el, el español más este, practicado y poder conocerlo mejor. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, about Jester, um, Louis says that um, it's a pleasure to meet you and I hope that you can learn Spanish more and if you want to learn more, then you can, uh, you can ask Louis or if you want to, uh, just don't give up with your Spanish. <laughs> yeah. And what about Jester, do you have anything to say to Louis? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's already a lot. You have, uh, Luis have teach us a lot about the Spanish word, and hopefully, just you there will be uh good things to continue learning the language. And I personally would like to say muchas gracias, Luis, para entrar a nuestra clase. Es es un placer de conocerte y conocer a tu culturas it's a pleasure to know about your culture your country and muchas gracias por tu tiempo <laughs> i know it's yeah anyway we have a very big difference of time jester can you guess what time in louis place is is there kira kira jam berapa what time is there well, oh no, okay. So, Luis, uh, what hora is that? Okay. Uh, aquí, si, sí. con las nueve de la noche. 
Ah, to, now is nine o'clock at night. So it's nine o'clock, but at night. Yeah, we oh. have so many people. Time. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's night time there already. And yeah, so we have a very yes, big... <laughs> yeah, in and it's still Saturday. <laughs> so we literally are in the future. <laughs> We're in the future. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's um that's why uh, it's uh, I really respect your time. Muchas gracias por tu tiempo. Es muy es un placer and muchas gracias para enseñar a Chester sobre las familias en español. I'm sure that will be very happy because it's very it's hard to find a Spanish speaker. It's muy muy difícil para encontrar a alguien que es que habla en español aquí. Well, yeah, I I think that's all. Thank you so much for joining my class, everyone. Thank you so much, and I will see you again next week, Chester. Thank you so much for joining my class, and I will see you again next week with more lessons. All right, everyone. Hasta luego. Adios. Ciao. Adios. Ciao. Ciao. Adios.